All right, welcome to the We Miss the Exit show. I am your host, Brent. I'm uh, carried along with Brian over here. Brian, how you doing? Good, man. What's up, guys? Good, not much. Hey, well, we're going to be doing this basketball championship thing, even though normally it's set for racing, but we're going to try this basketball thing. So, Kurt's supposed to be joining us. If he does, cool. If not, that's fine, too. So This is like a, like a king of the hill and tag you're it. It, I think that's kind of a good way of doing it, but then like it's it's almost like that that uh, diary of a wimpy kid, the cheese touch or whatever. Like, hey, last person to get touched is it, and this is kind of like last person to win, you're winning. So it's kind of good. Cheese touch, you gotta go like this behind your back, right? I think so, something like that. Yeah. So to recap real quick, um, my team ended up being the Warriors, Sixers, Cavs, Nuggets. Hawks, Magic, Rockets, Kurt was Bucks, Clippers, Mavs, Wolves, Raptors, Blazers. You had Nets, Suns, Bulls, Pelicans, Knicks, Pistons, and Evan ended up with Celtics, Heat, Grizzlies, Lakers, Hornets, Kings, and Wizards. So the way this works, yeah, the team that's winning, uh, they hold the trophy for as long as they can uh, until they lose. Whoever they lose to, that team then gets the trophy, and they keep it until they lose again, too. So a team could hold the trophy for 82 games, theoretically, or they could lose it uh, right afterwards. So the way, yeah, it's kind of like a, like a King of the Hill and like tag you're it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's almost like the UFC, how, you know, somebody has the belt and they could very well lose it in their next match. So you know what else it's kind of like though? It's kind of, it's kind of like Warzone. It's kind of like Warzone. You know, it's kind yeah. of like, it's kind of like Warzone. Everything's a battle Royale nowadays. So this yeah, is, this, this, this is kind of like a battle Royale. Too. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like exactly the same. It, it's almost 100% exactly kind of like it. Yeah. Uh, so the way Kuda, uh, Kurt set it up is that your team, you get half the pot if you end up with the trophy at the end of the season, but half of it also goes to the team that accumulated the most wins. So um, this being our first year, I'm not 100% what it's going to look like, but uh, Kurt says it works, and so we're going to apparently trust him. So It's funny. I'm looking at the screen, and it's like, you know when you buy lemonade and – the ingredients are like water, uh, lemons, sugar, and then like a ton of other fucking shit. And it's like kind of like the rules thing. It's like it's so much. It's like I'll just you know the fine print. Don't really read that because you don't really want to know what's what's the rules are, what's going in the lemonade. It's just you know got to be listed. Yeah, like give me yeah. It's like like an obligation to have it there. It's like give me the give me the cliff notes of the game. Like it shouldn't be that long, even though it is actually pretty short. It's like it, it's it should be a lot less. Yeah. All right. So let's let's get into our first one. Like, um, Brian, who do you think was the best pick for for me? What was my best pick? Your like, best pick, given a time and place. I think you got the Rocket. I mean, the Rockets. I'm surprised it was the last round pick. To be the, honest, you, you you think the Rockets are going to end up like winning me the most uh, the most wins and everything? I guess I guess probably not the most wins. I think that if anything, most wins seventy sixers. Golden State. I mean, the elephant in the room, I think, is Golden State being the best. You had the first pick. But I'm trying to look at the rest of your picks. And, I mean, the Hawks, you know, they could be good. Um, All right. What do you think, think about the Sixers? They're dangerous, actually. So, to get them, what, is that eighth? Uh, essentially, yeah, eighth. Eighth. They're a top five team. I think that's a good steal. All right. What about Kurt? Who do you think was his is his best team on his roster? The Bucks. I think he kind of went downhill after his second pick. He, Kurt's kind of like that guy that gets super excited and, you know, it's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet kind of guy? And he, and once he's there, it's like, you know. He, he kind of crapped the bed, did no clue what yeah, he was doing. Yeah, it's like, wow, this is it. This is all of us. And, and it, in his in his defense, I'll give him some credit. He's the only one that doesn't follow or care about basketball, but he's like, hey, let's do something that at least you guys know or care about. So at least, at least he was willing to jump on board with that. Yeah, he kind of took, like, two games, like, King of the Hill and Tag Your It and put them into one, and, like, it's kind of, like, what we're playing. Yeah. All right, who do you think your best pick was? I'd like to say the Knicks, right? But I I think the Nets, I think the Suns are kind of in a rebuilding year, but I'm still curious about them. Uh, I think I have the worst team. But maybe the Pelicans. Honestly, the Pelicans could give them for a little run. But in terms of being competitive, I hope it's the Nets. I hope, you know, that's why I picked them first. Yeah. Yeah, and what about what about Evan? I think Evan is has four picks in a row that are could have been first round. Yeah, yeah. I, Celtics, I, Heat, Grizzlies, Lakers. I think Grizzlies could be sneaky. I think the Lakers are nobody just no everyone's sick of the Lakers, but I don't think they're going to be bad. 
Um, they're going to be playing, you know, if you think about who's starting with the King of the Hill crown on their head, it's probably the, you know, the Warriors. Lakers being out West will probably play them quite a bit on the schedule, more opportunities to knock that crown. Yeah, same division and everything. Yeah, I'm, I, I kind of have similar picks to you. Like, I think – I, I kind of think Golden State's going to be my best one. Mine was a toss-up between the Warriors and the Sixers, and I, I was back and forth. Like, even my first-round pick, I was kind of like, do I go 76ers? Like, do I go uh, for that sleeper, like, in the first round? I'm like, no, just be smart go with the Warriors. That was that was also pre-Draymond, too. Like, had I known, like, his whole issue, like, I don't think – like, they say it's, like, mellowing out. I don't think it's going to end up being good. I think he's going to be gone. I mean, he played last night. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Aaron Poole shared the floor last night. Who knows? It could. What happens in practice stays in practice. How many times did Michael Jordan probably punch someone in the face? We just didn't know about it because it was on, not on cameras. Or or De- Dennis Rodman. You know, he's got yeah, right. Like it's almost like it you know shitty thing to do, but amongst the team, who are we to pick apart? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think Kurt's best pick is actually the Clippers. Like I. Fully, fully healthy. Yeah, Kawhi's going to end up being like resting for you know sixty games, but I think they're still going to be pretty good. I would like to say Bucks, but uh, I don't think they gained a lot um, this year, and I think they kind of stayed stagnant. Yeah, they're near the top; they're the best player in the league. But mm, I, I kind of think Clippers are, are his best pick. They'll get. I think they'll get him his most wins. Yeah, um, looking at Kurtz, you got the Bucks. Who you know, I smart pick them first round. Clippers could be a sleeper. Mavericks are kind of spreading themselves out, rebuilding almost in a way. Yeah. I mean, they think they're a couple pieces away. I think they're a couple more. Timberwolves, they've got Cat. Raptors or has Bens. They got Drake on the sideline, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. the Blazers. And now that I'm looking, why do uh, Brent and Evan have one more team than the rest of us? I thought we were all supposed to have the same amount of team. I, th- I think Kurt ended up not uh, fully writing this thing out. I don't remember what the whole reason was either. Um, Because I feel like we should have one more team, Brent, uh, Kurt, and I. Yeah, we should. Why why don't you guys have two more teams? I think one was the Pacers. I saw them still on the list, and I don't know. We'll have to ask Kuda what's going on. I got this straight off whatever form he made. Yeah, I think it will. I think it might be rigged. Yeah, it it could be. All right, Kuda's already uh, pocketing the money. Awesome. I think I think your Nets are going to be your best pick, regardless. Um, You know, I think they should be. Right? They should be really good. They've Ky- got KD, Kyrie, Ben Simmons, Blake Griffin. Yeah, uh, Steve Nash on the sideline. You know, yeah. Ky- Kyrie's. You know, he's not going to be forced to not play a couple games like half half the season. So I think him being full eighty two games, I think he's going to accumulate a lot of wins for you. So I think that's a good pick. And I think you nailed the you nailed the nail on the head right there with Evan. Like I'm looking at his team. I'm like I'm looking at his top four, and I'm like, yeah, all four of those teams could be his best. I I still think Celtics are just because they're so strong. Like their guard rotation, they have like nine players that should be starters uh, as guards. So I'm like, geez, that's just a solid team right there. So I I'm, I think Celtics are his best team. Yeah, man, I'm playing with. The, I was actually now I'm right right now I'm playing with the Knicks, but I was just playing with the Celtics on 2K. I made the guy quit at halftime. Oh yeah, yeah, they're 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 nasty they're regardless. Team. Yeah, he was the Lakers. And I just exposed them. <laughs> How do you do that? All right, so what, worst pick. What team do you think has like going to get the least amount of wins? No chance, nothing. What do you think about uh, my team? Um. Well, I guess the Magic. Magic? Okay, yeah, I was actually going to go with Magic, too. I think they're just going to – they're a trash team. I don't know why I picked them. Maybe because Ben Caro, now that I live in North Carolina, I was 25 minutes from Duke. I got to see him. Uh, we got but, Cole Anthony, Ben Caro. Mo Bamba. Um, yeah, Mo Bamba. They've got some young, fun talent. I just think they're uh, – Trash for this year. Yeah, a little ways away. It's hard to it's hard to continue with these picks though without knowing what our last team is. Yeah, yeah. I'm well. I'm gonna do what we can, I guess, uh, with this one. I don't remember who you you and Kurt picked, but I think Raptors were his worst pick, or maybe even the Mavs. Like I, I don't I have a lot Mavs of faith were, in the Mavs. Yeah, Mav, for that high for third round, Mavs. That that was a was reach. A there were so many better teams he could have picked. He could have picked Bulls, Pelicans, Grizzlies, Bulls. Lakers, Pelicans, yeah. Nuggets, Hawks. That was a. That was a bit of a reach. Yeah, Mark, if someone might not even know what they're doing. No, I think he's also – I think he is a Mavs fan. So, I th- like, uh, relatively speaking, for a guy that hates basketball. I mean, I'm a Jets fan. I would never pick them. To... <laughs> Actually, this year, though, the Jets. They might be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. 
Uh, what about you? I think I. I mean, Pistons. They're just full, full, full rebuild right now. So I. I, I yeah, think they're probably your worst pick, but uh, not a good pick. I think the rest of the ones on there. I mean, the Suns for second round probably could have tried to grab. I mean, who else was left? Maybe the Grizzlies up there. Maybe the Heat. Uh, um, I think I think Suns are going to get more wins than Heat and Grizzlies. I think Grizzlies kind of had like an uh like a like a crazy year like the Knicks did two years ago like like came out of nowhere everybody's like why why are they doing well and again going with that uh west coast kind of conference I was thinking you know what they might I really think the west coast basketball is so much better where the crown's gonna kind of bounce around so I wanted to be as many players well it looks like I only got one west coast team yeah well well, (laughs) well, you have two you you got pelicans and nuts you'll be all right Uh, right, sons sons um and Evan's team, I mean, I'm torn between his Kings and his Wizards. Those are both really bad teams. Yeah, Evan did a great job the first four rounds, and then he did a pretty bad job the last couple. Well, you see, like, I actually don't hate the Hornets. Like, they, they were a borderline playoff team Hornets last year. Right and and here's the thing I was trying to say. Like, you know, it's also going to depend on what teams are trying to make the playoffs towards the end of the season that could end up with the trophy at the end of the season, which is half the pot. Like, the Hornets are going to be trying to win – all the way up to the end of the season. So I, I think that's actually yeah. a good pick for Evan. Yeah, I think Evan has the best team on, on paper right now. I mean, TBD about Kurt in mind, but... Yeah, yeah, right. All right, now what about best value? Like, what, what was... um, We, we kind of talked about this already, best value. Um, For me, I actually think... I was torn between the Cavs and the Nuggets, but I think the Nuggets were my best value pick just because they're going to be fully healthy now. And when they were fully healthy, they were like the number one team in the in the West or number two when they knocked off the Clippers in the playoffs and all that. I think that was a good pick for me. I think, yeah, Cavs, especially picking up Donovan Mitchell, could be a sleeper pick in the East. Yeah, yeah, I was, I'm was i torn between Cavs and Nuggets. I, I think Nuggets in the end, but um, it, we'll see, you know, who can Nuggets at the thing. fourth round is a, is a good value. You're right. That's a, that's a discount shopping. Yeah, it is. Yep, get, get that on, get that on cheap. Um. I think for Kurt, I think that now that they have Gobert, I think they're actually going to be pretty decent, the Timberwolves. I think with Gobert playing defense and Edwards also playing defense, that's going to be a solid team, even though Cat can't play. The only issue is, you know, they both play center, Gobert and Cat. Right. So I, I, I'm interested to see what they're going to do, but I think that's a good value, his best value pick. Maybe even the Blazers in the six. Yeah, uh, definitely not. An anti fan of the Blazers, I think. I think honestly, the Timberwolves. Looking at you know Bucks, Clippers, Mavericks. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that pick. I think the Timberwolves is the next best team on there, and I think he got them a little late. Um, probably could have gone. Well, I, I think the, there. So I think Timberwolves. I think the Timberwolves could have been picked before the Mavs, but yeah, exactly. I think your best value pick, honestly, I think is the Pelicans. I I think they're going to be. I think they're going to make some noise in the West, like come play, especially come playoff time. Like they're going to be a little scary. So I think your best pick is the Pelicans. Best value. I agree. Hands down. Um, I probably could have picked them earlier, but I'm happy I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And I think uh, like reports are that Zion's healthy and then you have Ingram coming in and CJ McCollum. Yeah. That's not a lot of defense, but they're going to be a fun team to watch this year. So I think they're, they're a good pick for you. Um, and Evan, best value? I, I almost want to say Grizzlies. You think Grizzlies? I was going to say Lakers, just because, you know, LeBron can always turn on at any point. Like, if he's like, all right, I want the fifth, I want the fourth seed, all right, I'm going to do it right now. And he's going to end up with the fourth seed. So I, th- I think getting the Lakers there, like, I think Lakers easily could have gone uh, third early. round or late, yeah, like, like early round. third, late second. I think that's a solid yeah. pick. I still like. I still like the Grizzlies, though. I really think they're going to make a lot of noise. I think, I don't yeah. know, I think it was a good, good pick. Yeah, they were good last year, and they have uh, JJJ coming back, and he's a really good defender, too, so I think they're going to be a nice team to watch, too. All right, let's see. Dark Horse team. Like, like what team do you think is going to end up, like, coming out of nowhere and winning at the last second towards the end of the season? For, um, what do you I'd think like for to me? say the Bulls or the Pelicans, to be honest. For you, Bulls or Pelicans? Yeah, I mean, like Dark Horse team, I'm, I'm ignoring the first two rounds because I think the first two rounds, they're expected to be winning. Really? Yeah. You know? 
Yep, yeah. I think your your Pelicans or Knicks because the Knicks are going to be trying to get that last like play in spot too, like the uh, eight nine ten seven eight nine ten area. Um, Teams that have potential but unproven. Yeah, yeah. I think them for you. I think Hornets, like we were talking about for Evan. I think that's going to be a dark yep. horse team for him. Uh, I think Trailblazers for Kurt because if they if they want to, they could do well just because Lillard knows how to turn it on too. Agreed. I think that's, uh, I mean, one of his better picks on the board. Yeah. For me, I I kind of want to say the Hawks. Besides the Timberwolves. Yeah, I'm besides not, the Timberwolves. I'm just not a fan of the, of the Raptors and the Mavericks picks. No, I'm not. I'm not either. I'm not a big, but I mean, he knows them. I think probably because of Drake and then, you know, he's always like Dallas. He liked Dirk back in the day, so. I knew Kurt was a big Drake fan too, so that does make sense. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, he used to call me and myself. Um, exactly. So. Yeah. I, I think Hawks is my team. I think that's going to be my best, uh, my dark horse. They, they, because Trey, like, I mean, he keeps getting, he keeps getting better. So I think he has a chance to keep going. Okay, yeah. So like a team that you wouldn't expect to be, uh, you know, top five, top five, top four in the East. I can see. Yeah, but could, could make that. Yeah, exactly. But like they show up, but like the Grizzlies last year or the Knicks the year before that. Like who could be a dark horse team? Yeah, yeah. All right, last thing. First matchup is between Evan and myself, Lakers and Golden State. It's at Golden State, I think. Chase Center, is that Golden State? Yeah, that is, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, because Lakers are Staples Center. All right, who do you uh, who you think is going to win? The Warriors are the what, was it, six and a half point favorite right now. I, I think the Lakers, I think uh, they're not having a great preseason, but I think the Warriors are actually having a worse preseason internally. Yeah. yeah uh, I, I, I'm going to go to the Lakers. Are you? All right. So you think Evan's going to get that first first day, first round upset right away? All right. All right. I, I, I think Golden State's still going to win it out if Draymond plays. And I think that like what's his face? Pool just got an extension, so maybe everything has been smoothed out. I think Golden State's still gonna be fine. They're home too, so I think they'll be all right. But you know, LeBron always he'll turn it on if he wants to. He could also put on a show, try to get Draymond to uh, come to the Lakers next year. I don't know. We'll see something like that. All right. Well, yeah, hey. Oh, no, hey, hey, more dogs the better. Um, <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Spooked. Well, Whenever Mo's not home, he gets spooked. Well, well, um, my dog, like I'm, you can't see me, but I'm just like leaning over, petting my dog. My girl, my girl won't leave me alone. She's just like right at my side. She's like, I, I hear another dog. I want to hear what's going on. Yeah. What the hell's going on? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, that's all I have, Brian. Uh, it was good to have you on here. I was going to do this by myself, but it was cool to bring you on too. Yeah. I mean, it would not have been as fun by yourself. No, 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 not, not too many things are. Well, all right, so this is it for We Miss the Exit. We'll figure out what's going on with this basketball thing. I might do this once a week, uh, Brian, just to just to give like a recap of what's going on. I mean, Kurt's the only one doing something, so I might just do this, see if we can get him on. Yeah, it's fun. It's kind of like uh, King of the Hill and a tag your <laughs> game combining the two. And, uh, yeah, and a little bit of uh, Warzone. Is that? Uh, yeah, a little bit of Warzone in there as well. Could have just joined us? Kurt's, Kurt's with us. Hey, Kurt. Hey, what's going on? Hey, not bad. Uh, we were we were just about we were legit just about to wrap it up. We weren't sure what was going nice. on with you. I just got food. I was starving. Oh, uh, okay. Raking them leaves. Yeah, upstate New York. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, yeah. You want to give us some really quick uh, insight here, Kurt? Um, yeah, he's got to answer all your questions. Yeah, you got to answer all the questions. So, all right, we did a little little recap. Be quick with us. All right, so we have who do you think was the best pick? Like, who's going to get the most wins uh, for each team? Um, me, yourself, Brian, Evan. Um, the most wins? How come yeah. they're not even? We should all have the same amount of teams. That's I, what I was asking that same question. I pulled this right from whatever your spreadsheet is, Kurt. So, I don't know. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to get the most wins. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what, what team is going to get the most wins for you? Which one? Um, I think... Never. Uh, I was thinking Mavericks, but I think it's going to be Clippers. Cl- I, I, that's what I said. I said Clippers. All right. What do you think for Brian? Uh, oh, all right. You want me to do all of them? Um, that's what we did, yeah. Do, do, I would say Suns. Suns? All right. What do you think for Evan? Grizzlies. All right. What do you think when uh, No, I, I'm going to huh? say Lakers for uh, for Evan. 
All right. Evan's got the best team. He's got four teams that are hard to choose from. I yeah. I think he has four teams that legit could have gone in the first two rounds. Yeah. Um, for you, I think the Warriors. Warriors, yeah, it's kind of hard to go against that. All right, worst pick. What team is going to get, like, no wins for your team? Um, No wins. Uh, I think probably the Raptors. Yeah. I think we I think we all said that, too. Brian and myself said Raptors. Yeah, we, we recognize that you're a Drake fan, and that's probably why you picked him, but not really, like, a <laughs> yeah. basketball decision. Yeah. All right, what do you think about what's Brian's worst one? Uh, Brian's worst team, probably Knicks. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna say Knicks. He was gonna say it. I knew it. <laughs> I don't think uh, they're my worst team. It's all about what team get the wins at the right time. And uh, let's see, Evan, I would say the Kings. Okay. And you probably the Magic. Uh, Kurt, Kurt's yeah, pretty much on par with with Brian and myself. So all right. Uh, best value uh, pick, Kurt. What do you think is the best value with your you know? Incredible knowledge of basketball. What's the best value? Uh, Lakers, definitely. That's what yeah. I said. Yeah, to go one, two, three, fourth round. What what is that? Sixteenth pick, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, e- easily could have, like I said, easily could have been one of the first two rounds if wanted to. Right. Yeah. Um. But I, to me, the the scariest thing is going to be the Warriors because they start with it. Um. And was it like? Five, six years ago, didn't they start the season with 24 wins or something like that? It, yeah, it was something ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like a quarter of the, a quarter of the season. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was Just gifted. I was gifted that for that first pick. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where the two teams that are missing went, but I'll try to figure it out. All right. Um, or if you guys have extra teams, no, I, don't, I don't think you have extra teams. No, because no, tw- we should have 28 teams. There should be two left yeah. over because if there are 30 teams in the NBA and they're 28 four times seven, so yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Nobody has. Uh, the Pacers and the Thunder, I don't think were picked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll have to go back and uh, rewatch that video. What... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to do something. Yeah. Just um, on the uh, so the Excel spreadsheet is missing. Yes, mm-hmm. I grabbed it. Whatever it was, right from the uh, the spreadsheet. Mm. And it doesn't say it in there, but uh, All Star Week is not going to uh, doesn't is not going to count. No, no, of course not. No, because uh, it's supposed to be the number of days having the championship. Uh, All Star Week doesn't count because nothing's going to change. That I don't think that's fair. No, I'm good with that. All right. Uh, uh, so yeah, good luck with everyone. Hold on, we're not done. I thought you were wrapping up. Okay. We're, we're almost done. We're almost done. Right. Dark horse pick. Okay. Dark horse. What team do you think is going to be uh, out of nowhere getting a lot of wins for a team? Um, out of nowhere getting wins for the team. Um, I think they went kind of early, but I think the Mavericks. The Mavs? Okay. <laughs> okay. Brian, Brian and I crapped on your pick of the Mavericks for, for like last like, well, uh, Someone's at least confident with them, you know? Yeah. I mean, I mean, Donkic did do really – didn't they make it to the finals or the semifinals last year? Yeah, but then they just traded the Jalen Brunson. They, uh, they got rid of Przingis. They – Well, that made them better. Feel like they're, they think they're a piece or two away, but I think they just gave a couple of those pieces away. Yeah, they need to get another well, piece for Donkic. It's about going on win streaks. And yeah. Didn't they go on a couple win streaks last year? Yeah, they very well. I think they did, too, especially to get into the playoffs, too. So, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's what the Dark Horse pick is about. All right, and Kurt, last thing. First matchup is between Evan and myself, Lakers and Golden State. It's at Golden State. Who's winning that? Golden State. You think so? Yeah. All right. All right, Brian says Lakers. I said Golden State. and uh, I think if Lakers get it, they're going to have it for a while, though. Yeah, they could. I mean, they'll probably go on a tear, and then everyone will get injured or tired, and they'll lose it to someone. Yeah. Probably be one of the teams none of us have. Yeah, right? Like the Pacers end up like winning Pacers, it for a yeah. while. Yeah, and they, and they uh, go on so a long the, run. Yeah, the teams that are missing, I'm missing the Jazz, and Brian's missing the Spurs. Ah, the Spurs. Oh, okay. All right, they might Jazz be my Dark Horse team now. Spurs? Really? They got rid of no. uh, They got rid of a really good player. Oh, I can't think of his name, but he was like all defense. He was an all-star. Murray, last year. Murray, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a really good player. They got rid of him. I'm like, oh, but when's the last time the Spurs have not been competitive? Last year. 
Last year they were bad. I think the I year think before be too. Horrible this year. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you never know. Popovich has done. He's done more with a lot less. So. Right. If yeah. they're bad and miss the playoffs this year, you think he's going to retire? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's done. I think he's going to enjoy himself for a while. I don't blame him. No, he's done it How forever. How many championships we won? Four, five. I I think five. Yeah, dating all the way back to the '99 or whatever, '98, '99, something like that. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, well, we're gonna wrap up the show right now. Unless you guys got anything else for the show. Uh, nope. I corrected the spreadsheet. Uh, the first game's on the 18th, right? Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, I think. Yeah. So uh, I'm as time goes in, I'm I'm just gonna go in and change things as. And update it. I think I have the formulas all set up. So when I put in whoever has it for that day, the championship for that day, uh, it should update all the totals and everything automatically. Um, and it's all color code and stuff. So hopefully uh, it's pretty easy to follow. All right. Pretty cool. And I was telling Brian, I'd like to do this maybe like once a week because you do F1 racing like once a week. So I try to do it once a week. Um, all depends on when the races are and stuff. I got a, I just finished the Japanese Grand Prix. So I'm working on the review show for that. I'll get yeah. that done in the next couple days. All right. All right, cool. Sounds good. You got anything else, Brian, or are you good? Uh, I got one for the money and two for the show. All right. I like it. All right, guys. Well, this is this is We Missed the Exit signing off, and we'll see how the season goes.